In this video, I'll show you how to password protect your folders in most secure way. First of all, you need to download the software called TrueCrypt. So go to the website, truecrypt.org, and go to download session. You will find the installation file for different platforms. So let's download for Windows version. And save to your computer. After that, you can install the TrueCrypt on your computer. Now, I already installed the TrueCrypt, so just run the software. Okay. In order to create a secure folder, what TrueCrypt did, there's a special way. You can create a, a special virtual disk like your, like your C drive, D drive. And I found this is like most easiest way. So what you need to do is go to your computer uh, into some folders, create a just a doc a file, just create a file. Let's say create a text file. Say Z dry. Okay, that's the name of the file. For true crypt, need create the virtual disk through the file. So in here, just say create a volume. So each disk we call it volume. Volume. So now select create a encrypt file container. So the this one Z drive we can use as as a file container. I'll just go next. Stand the volume. Go next, and now select the file. To select the the file we just create. Okay, so click this Z drive. Already exit. Do you want to replay? Yes. Now go next. And encryption algorithm. Just leave it. Leave everything as standard. Go next. Now you can set up how big is your virtual disk. Say you only want to save some important text file like password, important letter. So it wouldn't be too big. Say using 20 megabyte. Just be aware of the bigger the file, the longer it takes to encrypt. So now let's say using 20 megabyte. Go next. And you can set your password. You can dis make that password display at the moment. Just make sure you're typing the correct password. Let's say I just try typing say test test pass password. Okay, confirm again. Go next. So it will warning you say password is too short. Do you want to change it to longer one? But for test reason, we get we just using a uh, short password. Say yes. Now it tell you the file format. Uh, you don't you don't have to worry about this. Just go next. Click format. What it does is using this file as as virtual disk. So you need to format as different uh, file format system. Now it's success. It's done. So once once a volume created, it's finished. Create a virtual disk. Now you need to exit this one. What you need to do every time when you want to using this virtual disk, say because the file name is Z drive. So every time I just select Z disk. It's just for easy to remember. And then I will say select the file. And open the, the file it just create. Click open and click mount. So it will mount this virtual disk to your computer. It's just working like normal computer disk. Now just type in the password, which is test password. Okay, it's mounted already. Let me show you 
where is the actual disk so now in my computer you can see there's a Z disk before only got one one local disk now got two so you can copy any file in there as uh, as long as it's less than the file container size remember this one we create a 20 megabyte so you can put everything in there less than 20 the total file size less than 20 megabyte so you can copy anything in there just for example okay let's copy this It works like normal computer desk. Copy to there. Paste. Okay, you got a file there. Of course, you can also adding the folder to the virtual drive. So let's go back to testing folder. So there's a test folder. There's a sound file there. Now just say we want to move this to the secure disk. Right click. And cut and go to the Z drive which is a virtual disk and then paste there see now you got the folder power password protect in this virtual Z drive once you dismount the virtual Z drive from your true crypt people won't able to see any file and a folder in the virtual drive only you, someone who got the password, can open that. So next time, when you finish using that, just say highlight the drive and then dismount. Exit. Now, let's go back to my computer again. You can see the Z drive is gone. But the file is still there, which is in the folder you put it before. The file and see the property you can check the size is 20 megabyte which is a size a file file we created before so this is most secure way to save your file it take a little bit long to create and formatting and then open the virtual disk but is if you're getting used to it it's much safe and then secure and then you can also copy this virtual file this virtual disk file to anywhere you want just using as normal file copy paste you can copy to your USB disk or even burn to your DVD disk just for backup thanks for watching see you on next vhard.net video